Yo, what is up guys, Surgical Goblin here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I will try to complete this grand challenge. As you guys can see, I'm already at 9 wins and I do have 1 loss. I will try to get 12 wins live for you guys and I will do this with this anti-meta deck. A lot of you guys requested an anti-meta deck trying to get 12 wins without the Rory Ghost. And as you guys can see, this deck doesn't have the Rory Ghost. And I will get over the deck real quick because it's a really cheap deck. The average elixir cost is just 2.8 elixir. It cycles super quick. It doesn't have a small spell like a zap or a lock, but it does have the tornado and it also has the poison as a big spell. Then we have the ice wizard as um, sort of our damage dealer. I mean, ice wizard DPS isn't that high, but it actually does a really good job at defending, especially big tanks as well. Like it does uh, really well versus golem pushes and, and stuff like that because of the splash damage and then the defensive poison minor to chip away also to tank for swarmy units like maybe the guards maybe the bats and you have a really good set bait but you can also out cycle because the like the deck the average elixir cost is so low you can even out cycle their zap so let's say you just use your skeleton barrel you can cycle back to a new skeleton barrel really quick and personally i really love to do skeleton barrel uh bat pushes but i will show that soon because it's really effective but i would say let's just begin with the first match guys and then while playing i will give some more tips about the deck and also some bad matchups but so far i didn't really face too many bad matchups but let's give him the thumbs up and let's give him the good luck so as you guys uh, as you guys know i love uh, i love to start off with the ice spirit so let's start off with the ice spirit at the bridge looks like he does take the damage looks like we'll get some chip damage on the left side he goes with a night witch in the back i'll respond with ice wizard in the back ice wizard does one shot bet so it's quite a good counter and I will go with a uh, skeleton barrel in the back. So Night Witch is either Golem. This is definitely Golem because he also has the flying machine. And he uses his poison. Let's see if he uses his zap. Looks like he won't use his zap. So he probably still has his zap in rotation. But looks like he uh, spent quite a lot of elixir. So I'll actually go with Miner. And I will go with Guards. And unfortunately Skeleton Barrel does die. So he'll probably zap over here. Let's see. There you go. There's the zap. And he has the Royal Ghost. So knowing that he has Golem. I'm trying to activate the King Tower. Because that will help me later on in the match. So let's actually go with Ice Wizard to the side. And then I will go with um, Tornado for his Royal Ghost. I will go with Ice Spirit for his um, Flying Machine. And luckily the tower is actually locked on the Mega Me. And that way we don't take too much damage. And we do activate the King Tower. Which will be huge in the rest of the game. Because this guy is using Golem. Once you pull uh, all his units towards the middle. You have three towers shooting at the Golem. Which of course will kill it way faster than uh, just one or two for a little bit. When you uh, Tornado it to the center. So let's go with Skeleton Barrel, let's go with Miner, have Poison ready if he uh, gives us value. There you go, perfect Poison hitting the tower, Night Witch, and hitting his Goblin Hut. He still needs to respond to a Skeleton Barrel, let's see, he actually zaps but he misses it. That is something I see often, people don't really know how to counter the Skeleton Barrel that well. I mean, of course it's quite meta, um, lots of people are using the Skeleton Barrel, but still people struggle uh, to counter it. And it looks like our next card is still Skeleton Barrel, so he just uses Zap and we already almost cycled back to a new one. So I'm thinking about pressuring the other lane. I think we can just uh, minor the left side tower. So let's actually go with um, bets and let's go with skeleton barrel. I'm not sure if I know. I didn't time that well. And looks like you'll actually go with a defensive poison. So the poison does one, uh, like they do kill the skeletons, but still get a little bit of chip damage always. So that's always nice to get a little bit of chip damage with skeleton barrel. Let's go with minor. Let's go with poison. Again, hitting his night, which he ma he's making the same mistake. And this is a perfect example of the skeleton bats uh, push. So you'll first put the skeleton barrel to tank. Then you'll put bats behind it. And he's either forced to zap right now or the bats will get a lot of damage. Or he needs to zap right now and he already took a lot of damage. So that is a really strong combination in my opinion. Let's go with um, Ice Wizard. Let's go with a Tornado over here. And then go with Guards for his um, for his Royal Ghost. Looks like he might be able to come through here. Um, bad defense on my part. Yeah, he will definitely come through here. I will go with a Poison, guys. And he definitely takes the tower over here. But we do kill most of his support units. And right now we're still leading with the damage. Let's see if he decides to uh, go for another Golem push. Looks like he will go with a Goblin Hut. I will not uh, try to pressure too much. Because I will just try to play uh, passive. I'll go with the Ice Wizard in the back. And he might go. There you go. There's his Golem. He might go with Golem now. I will go with Skeleton Barrel. And I will send the Miner to the Goblin Hut actually. Just because I don't want him to get... Um, too much value so let's go with bats he will probably poison over here but i can uh defensive poison for his flying machine his golem and his support units i don't think the spear goblins will die maybe they will die let's see so let's actually go with a tornado and let's go with ice spirit let's then go with bats and i'm not sure if the bats are bad because yeah th uh, the death damage of the golem but let's surround it with guards guys and so far our defense is pretty solid let's go with a skeleton barrel to pressure and if he drops something like a night witch there you go his, his flying machine this is a perfect poison again he's giving us quite a lot of good poisons and he used his zap so the bats on defense can get a lot of value right now if he um 
Ops to use something. Let's see if he goes with a Golem. I'll go with the Ice Wizard in the back just because I, I really like it in defense uh, because of the splash damage. And that way we can actually cycle to another one. So let's go with Bats in the back. He might poison over here. Let's actually go with a Skeleton Barrel. Let's go with Guards at the bridge. Um, he does get a really good poison over here. Well played on his part. Let's go with another Ice Wizard, guys. And let's have a poison, defensive poison for his flying machine. Um... A tornado and an ice spirit just to make sure we actually uh splash all of it i really like to have tornado ice spirit combination let's go with guard for his uh royal ghost looks like the ice wizard will die but let's actually go with another skeleton barrel to pressure and we do need to have a tank over here because uh he's constantly just chipping away let's go with bats he will probably zap let's see uh i think he will zap the bats let's see if he decides to zap the bats Looks like he doesn't decide to save the bets. I think he will go with uh, Golem in the middle. So we need to pressure, guys. I'm pretty sure he will drop Golem in the middle right now. He actually goes with uh, Poison. Um, let's see. Let's go with Bats. Let's go with a Miner. And let's see if we are able to chip away, guys. We do cycle to a new Skeleton Barrel. Let's actually go with a new Skeleton Barrel. And I think the Miner and Guards is actually chipping away. And it dealt enough damage to take the tower. Let's give him the good game. Let's give him the well played. And let's give him the thumbs up. So this can be one of the hard matchups. Of course, you have a really solid defense, but sometimes I do struggle defending his golem push. But we were able to cycle really well, and we were able to uh, have a lot of pressure at the end of the uh, like match, and that like uh, made us win the game. So let's give him the thumbs up and let's give him the good luck. So 10-1 in the current challenge right now. Let's see if we face another uh, royal ghost deck, another meta deck. So the golem deck we just played definitely a meta deck, and as you guys can see. Uh, we were able to take the win. Looks like he's saying, wow, wow, wow. Let's start off with the Ice Wizard in the back. And let's see what he drops. So we do have the Skeleton Barrel to uh, pressure in the other lane if he decides. So there you go. The first card he places is the Royal Ghost. So let's go with Skeleton Barrel to pressure in the other lane. Let's see if he has something or if he will wait and zap. Looks like he will go with a Mega Mean over here. Uh, I will actually go with guards. Two towards the left side and one towards the right side. Looks like he did zap. And why one towards the right side? Because the Mega Mean will hopefully be in range. There you go. The Mega Minion will be in range. Unfortunately, the Royal Ghost does um, go invisible. Let's actually go with Miner and let's go with a Poison. I know that we spent a lot of Elixir and wow, that was definitely worth it. We also hit the Night Witch. So again, we're facing the Golem deck, guys. This Golem deck is super meta. So another um, game to show you guys how to beat it. Hopefully we'll uh, win, of course. Would be a shame if we lose, but we just beat it. So why not again? Let's go with Ice Spirit at the bridge to pressure. Let's see if we can pressure with the Skeleton Barrel. Or if he decides to... Okay, there you go. He decides to uh, pressure with the Royal Ghost. I will wait a little bit just so the Spear Goblin will actually target it by the tower. And the Royal Ghost won't be tanking for it. And that way we do counter it really well. Let's go with a Skeleton Barrel. And let's go with Bats. And let's go with a Miner. Because he just invested 8 Elixir. We definitely want to punish this. And this is the perfect example of the Skeleton Barrel Bats um, push. It forces out his Poison. Which now we can use the Ice Wizard safely to defend his Golem. Uh, probably also guards and maybe a defensive poison if he supports it with a night witch but let's see if it's needed let's go with the ice wizard first let's um have the guards ready let's see if he drops something there you go there's his flying machine let's go with poison let's go with the ice spirit and i'm thinking about tornado with to the king tower because it's not double elixir yet and i'm sure that we uh will be able to deal with his support units let's see if he decides to go with support units looks like he's saying well played looks like he doesn't have any support units and he decides to go with another Goblin Hut. I would just drop bats just to be sure we counter his uh, Spear Goblins and we don't take too much damage. I will again go with a Skeleton Barrel to pressure. I'll have my Poison ready if he drops something like a Night Witch. There you go. There's his Night Witch. So we will have a really good Poison. And it looks like the Skeleton is actually able to chip away a little bit. And again, a really good Poison there. So we uh, drop an Ice Spirit for his uh, Mega Minion. He goes with a Golem in the back. I will first drop my Ice Wizard just to make sure we cycle actually uh, are able to cycle back to a new Ice Wizard. I will go with Skeleton Barrel. I will go with Bats. And I will go with a Miner. He goes with a Defensive Flying Machine. And let's see if we would take the tower. Looks like we will take the tower. So that's really good. We don't have to worry about Flying Machine. And Flying Machine is really behind, uh, really difficult to deal with. Looks like we get a great Defensive Poison, guys. And as I said, we first drop the Ice Wizard. Just to make sure we actually are able to cycle back to a new Ice Wizard. Let's go with a new Ice Wizard, guys. And uh, let's have the Bats ready over here. Let's go with Bats. Let's have the Ice Spirit ready. Um... And I think that we countered this push really well. There you go. Perfectly countered. Let's give him the good game. Let's give him the wall plate. And let's give him the thumbs up. And this deck, guys, it does require some skill to use it. And sometimes it's hard to defend. And especially in the beginning, like if you're not used to uh, play with Tornado and, for example, Ice Spirit decks or Quick Cycle Control decks, you definitely have to master it. But once you master this deck and once you master this defense, it's super, super solid. And it's really fun to play with as well. As you guys can see, 11 1 in the Grand Challenge right now. And hopefully this will be the last match. Let's give him a thumbs up and let's give him the good luck. 
So let's see. We do start off with the skeleton barrel in the starting hand. Um, let's see if we will start off with the bridge. Sometimes I also drop it in the back just because it's quite passive and some people don't really know how to respond to it. Looks like he will go with his guards in the back. I'll go with my skeleton barrel in the back and let's see if he drops something else. Looks like he will actually go for... A royal ghost and i will not drop anything else just a tornado because the royal ghost is invisible so first the royal, uh, the guard is being tanked and then the royal ghost is being attacked so let's actually go with bats and let's go with a miner looks like he will have his um main horde and a and an ice golem he still decides to zap so he does uh, use his zap and we have an ice wizard here and we can ice spirit let's go with guards hopefully hitting um his miner and let's see if we take down his main horde. Looks like we do take it down. So let's go again. Pressure with Skeleton Barrel. He just used his Zap. So we definitely outcycled his Zap. And let's see if he has three Musketeers. He might go with three Musketeers. Looks like he actually goes with a Royal Ghost. So let's see if we get some damage with the Skeletons. Looks like some Skeletons are actually locked on. And wow, that's so much damage, guys. Skeletons are always able to deal so much damage. Let's go with a Miner. And I think that he does have Collector. Or maybe he has Goblin Hut. Um, I think that he has three Musketeers because he has the main horde. So he either has Goblin Hut or he has the Collector. So we did use the Miner. There you go. But we can just poison the Collector over here. Especially after the Collector nerf. Poison is definitely worth it. And let's see. So the guards will definitely die to the tower. I will go with the Ice Spirit at the bridge to pressure. And hopefully to chip away. Let's see if he drops something. And I will actually tornado all the three Musketeers in one lane. He will probably drop it now because we just used the poison. Uh, let's go with the Ice Wizard. Let's have the tornado ready. There you go. Let's go with the tornado. Let's pressure with the skeleton barrel guys just because he probably uh, doesn't have guards in cycle right now So I think that he would have to mean hoard this or he would just zap it I think that he actually has zap in cycle. So let's go with the poison. We cycle back to poison. There you go There's his zap. So he did use his zap and right now we have bets um, in defense So bets can get a lot of value if he for example goes with a miner right now But let's see if he decides to go with a miner. Maybe he will go there you go. He will go with a miner for sure Oh, no, he actually doesn't he would just go with um Ice Golem Guards push. Let's go with Miner for his uh, tower. He goes with a defensive Miner. Uh, knowing that he didn't have anything in cycle like Guards. He just used his Guards offensive. So that is why I went with the Miner there. Looks like he will actually go with a defensive Ice Golem. And probably Zep over here. I think that he has Zep in cycle. Looks like he didn't have Zep in cycle. I will go with a Miner. Um, and I will go with a Poison. Knowing that he probably drops his main Horde. Looks like he doesn't drop his main Horde. He will go with a Royal Ghost. I will go with Skeleton Barrel. And wow, this is so much going on right now, guys. Hopefully, I'm still commentating it right. Let's go with the Ice Wizard. Let's go with the Ice Spirit. Hopefully, uh, it does jump. Let's see. It looks like it does jump. So, really good. Um, let's go with a Tornado. I think this is a good Tornado. Yeah, there you go. This is a good Tornado. Let's go with Miner. Let's go with Skeleton Barrel. And we can just, um, I think, chip away over here. Let's see. I don't even think I need to use my Poison on defense. I think I can just go with Bats, Quick Drop, Ice Spirit over here. And then go with the Ice Wizard in this lane. Uh, let's see guys. Let's have the miner again ready for his uh, for his tower But I think that he doesn't have guards in cycle so we can just go with miner right now um, Let's see. Let's see. He does have guards in cycle, but he was a, a little bit too late. Let's go with uh, guards Let's go with bats Let's have an ice spirit. Let's pressure with the skeleton barrel and let's again go with miner I'll put it again here. Maybe he will expect it, but I think he won't there you go He doesn't expect it and I think this is poison rage. This is definitely poison rage. Let's poison right now guys We have plenty of time to poison. We don't really have anything to worry about right now He will try to push but by that time the tower will be down because of the poison So let's give him the good game. Let's give him the well played and let's give him the thumbs up So this is a really clean and nice episode. I hope that you guys could learn from it I hope that you guys enjoyed it so a really nice 12-1 win. And again, this is the deck, guys. Anti-meta deck. It doesn't have the Royal Ghost. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. So let's get into the chest opening. As I said, 12-1. And let's start off with the chest opening, guys. 22k gold. 3 giants. Uh, Elixir Collector. Heal spell. Cannon. Ice Golem. Uh, skeleton Barrel, which is nice. That's the only common. I don't have max. So that's really nice to get it. Some Zap. Battle Ram. Uh, Bomber. Boom Tower. Wizard and arrows looks like we don't get a legendary so that's unfortunate, but we will get a lot of epics right now Let's see what epic hopefully something good 11 guards Which is actually really nice guards is really nice in this meta and it's also quite high as you guys can see 53 out of the 200 for max epic so that would be really cool to get it and it might have been a really cool episode It might have been a really good chest So let me know if you guys enjoyed it Let me know if I should do more episodes about anti-meta Or if I should maybe make a deck with the Royal Ghost Because I also have some solid decks with the Royal Ghost But let me know what you guys would like to see If you did enjoy it, make sure to smack that like button If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, feel free to subscribe And I hope to see you on one of my next videos Bye guys